how to create a workout plan for weight loss. Most of us don't think that we're not enough, that we're not doing enough. Most of us think that we suck. Sometimes you go to the gym and you see other people doing everything fine. You know, everyone, they know what they're doing. And you just go and you're like, hmm, I don't know, maybe let me just go onto the treadmill because I don't know how to do anything else. That is not going to be the case anymore. You're going to have a plan and you're going to know specific what to do. So to create the perfect workout plan, the first step is to be clear. Now, with this video, we're going to be very, very, very specific. It's, um, it's a workout plan to lose weight. And so we're going to assume that you are a beginner, you're working out perhaps once or twice a week maximum. Let's say you want to lose 22 pounds or 10 kilos and you're just doing videos on YouTube, but then you're not getting a lot of results. So you're going to commit to three or five days per week to so decide what are you going to commit to. If it's three days per week, I would definitely recommend you to do a no body workout. Um, include some heat workouts there as well. And if you're doing, if you've got a little bit more time, let's say you're actually going to dedicate the five days, resting for two, working out five, then I would say you can break that down per muscle group or you can get or you can take maybe um, a few muscle groups per se abs and back arms and chest shoulders or you can do just shoulders one day you can do legs and glutes or glutes one day and, and legs another day um, and then specifically work on a series of muscles per workout Dying, baby. now for the first week or so let's say a week or two, you are literally just going to have your mat ready. You're not going to apply, you're not going to introduce any weights, any resistance bands, any Swiss balls. You literally just, I just want you to do body weight exercises. Why? Because I want you to get used to doing uh, your workouts th at least three times per week. If that's what you're going for, if you're going for five days a week, then obviously it's just that consistency. I want you to just basically get, get used to it. Second of all, I want you to concentrate on form. It, there's no point of doing so many exercises and so many reps and if you're just doing it incorrectly. You need to concentrate on your form. You need to make sure that your technique is correct. Um, you, can, you, you can use a, a mirror, you can use a camera, you can use your phone just to check if you're doing it correctly. If you're working out with a buddy, have a, a, a workout buddy they can actually help you to correct that form. Or if you're following a video, or if you're following a plan from someone, then just make sure that you are paying attention to the technique and to the teaching points as well. Each exercise will have a correct way to do it. And sometimes when you exercise, just by tweaking something small, you will make your muscles work out a lot more. So just make sure that your form is correct, make sure that you're listening to all them teaching points. So, how do you stretch your workout? Firstly, I would say do a dynamic stretch. That's to get your joints ready for a workout. Then you go into a three to five minutes warm up just to get those muscles ready for the workout and your joints ready for the, wor the workout. Do your, um, after the warm up, you do your main workout. Whatever availability you have, make sure that your workout goes there. And then afterwards, you can actually, you can either do a static stretch or a cool down and a static stretch. The cool down it's mainly if you are doing, let's say, like um, a high intensity interval training, then you just do something a little bit low intensity at the end, just to cool down. Otherwise, just after your final set, once you rest, then do your static stretch. Now, the workout, the main thing, we are here. So how much time do you have? Do you have 30 minutes, do you have 40 minutes, do you have 45 minutes, one hour, an hour and a half? Depends on you. Now you can actually do just a high intensity interval training or you can do it as part of your workout. You can do a high intensity interval training, like a three sets, let's say, you can go for the most common one, which is Tabata, and then do your main workout. That would be amazing, like that would get you to have results and to see that progress and once you pass your second week let's say you go to the third week you start adding weights you start adding swiss ball heavier weights resistant bands 
Once you start adding all this and you start picking exercises that are a little bit more difficult and then you're going to see a lot more progress. So if you're let's say working out once a week or twice a week, go to three times a week the first week. If you're going to push that to five days per week, um, I would say do it gradually. So in the first week, do three days, second week, do four days and the third week then go all the way to five days now if you're working out twice or three times already and you want to push that to five then obviously start with four days and then five days this is an example of what the workout would be if you're working out three times per week so i'm giving you body weight exercises for to do on your week one and two and then on week three, we're actually increasing that and we add in dumbbells and we add in a barbell and resistant bands. So very, very simple, nice and you know, a nice mixture of exercises there. You can follow that or you can make your own. Try to add a few hits or high intensity interval training or maybe go and buy a bike and then obviously bike about 30 minutes a day or go for a, for a jog go for a walk and then get to your 10k steps a day and um, that will help you the more that you move the more calories that you're burning remember working out it helps because you're burning calories and you're growing your muscles you're basically uh, applying resistance to your muscles but it doesn't mean that you're going to lose weight just by doing exercises you need to make sure that you're more active you need to go out and walk as much as possible or if you can get a peloton bike and then you know you don't even need to go out or you can get a static bike um so just find what works for you i'm not saying that you have to get a peloton bike i'm just saying that if you can if you want i know that one of my clients she is loving it so if that works for you then do that otherwise obviously it's a it's a, it's a big investment if that's not the case you've got you can go to you can go for a walk for free you can go for a jog for free you can use the bike that will cost you 100 pounds 200 pounds if you want to invest more maybe five five to five hundred to a thousand pounds fine if you, it doesn't mean that you have to spend on it but if you want to if you choose to invest in a bike that you're going to use for a long time then by all means personally my bike was about 200 pounds and that has served me really well um i love it but i do like to go for a walk with my dog often i'm not losing 22 pounds i'm not losing 10 kilograms uh, at the moment i'm not losing anything anymore i've achieved the, what i needed to lose now i'm basically building so that doesn't apply to me but i'm still very active which means that once you get to your goal it's a lifestyle it's not something that you're just going to do now and then you know what Goes me crazy when people just go on diet and then they just say, "Oh, I'll start my training next week." So just make sure that you're consistent and you understand why you're doing it. So this is my example for for if you want to work out five days a week. Um, the first two weeks, I'm giving you body weight exercises as well, but then they're more specific. They're divided per muscle group. Um, I've taken legs, then I've gone for um, arms and chest. Then I'm gonna go. I've gone for abs on the fourth day. You're working out your back, and on day five, you're working specifically just your glutes. So, um, I would recommend you to do that for the first and second week. Again, you don't have to stick to these exercises, these are just an example. You can find your own exercises as well. Um, on from the third week onwards, then I've introduced weights, I've introduced dumbbells, barbell, and I've introduced resistant bands. Um, specific as well and breaking it down into muscle groups I would definitely recommend you as well if you even if you're doing your five um, five working out five days a week and you're doing this exercises I would definitely recommend you to go for maybe three minute hits um, per week or go for walks again same step the previous examples work here peloton bike your own bike go for walks go for jogs be as be active be as be as active as possible you need to if you are on a weight loss goal you need to be burning calories as many calories as possible I, i'm not telling you to leave your netflix who doesn't like who doesn't love their netflix i love series 
I'm addicted. But if you keep doing the same thing that you're doing and you, you expect a different result, it's like banging your head against the wall. It's, you're not gonna get a different result and it's the definition of insanity. But that's not you. I know that's not you. I know that you know that you have to change something in order to get results, right? <laughs> If you're not, if you don't have what you want right now in terms of your body, it's because you haven't done, you haven't taken the responsibility to do that. Am I saying to you, oh, put the blame on you, it's your fault? No, be kind with yourself. I'm not telling you to say to yourself, oh, but it's just that I'm lazy. I don't want you to put labels on yourself because that's not you. When have you decided that you are not sporty? When do you decide that you're heavy? Those are just labels that people put in your head and you've believed them because they've told you, they've told you that many, many times. I, I, I'm here telling you that's not true. So make sure that you're kind to yourself, but you take action. Don't be a, big, a victim. You're not a victim. You are the owner of your life. So take responsibility and make sure that you, make, you do the changes that you need in your life. I will put a link here so you can start with your food, so you can actually see what you can do in terms of um, nutrition for weight loss. And I want you to have a plan. Now, increase your protein, reduce your portions, make sure that you rearrange your macros a little bit, but do not starve. Do not go on diet after diet. That doesn't work. Consistency works. Consistency of new habits, that's what's going to give you those long-term results. Mindset. Mindset is what keeps you motivated mind so make, once you make a decision to make a change that's it you've made a decision so stick to it and no matter what this is the new you this is your new you so make sure that you are making the changes that you need to do be patient do you plant a seed and sit in front of a pot waiting for the flower to appear no you of course not right like seriously so why would you expect results after a week of exercising, let's say you've done a couple of hits and then you start looking like, hmm, I wanna see, hmm. I don't see any results. Like, what? But I've just done two workouts. So yes, patience. Be patient and stay consistent. Don't forget to like, let me know in the comments below what you're struggling with, what would be, what was your favorite workout from this list? And I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing week, guys.